What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. It's been a crazy week for this season. It's been a lot of fun. I have enjoyed it a lot. But I did find a few issues, especially with Transmog. So that's what I'm going to go over with today. I thought it was going to be a super easy grind. 150 enemies didn't seem like that much. But just watch and see, it's not just 150 enemies. So let's get right into it. Bungie starts you off with a quest that introduces you to armor synthesis, and they make it seem like it's going to be pretty easy. You just have to go collect a couple parts and basically activate the machine that lets Ada use transmog and create these universal ornaments. So, super easy, and at the end of it, she gives you synthweave so you can actually start creating armor, which is also really nice. But after the first introductory quest right here, you get a next one. So after the armor synthesis introduction, introduction you get this quest right here tying it all together this is where you use that synth weave that 801 gives you to actually create your first universal ornament which is awesome that they're giving us extra this season and they're giving us a lot of synth weave just without having to do the grind for these bounties speaking of bounties that is one of my first issues with the transmog system yes it is quite nice that you can pick between strikes, crucible, gambit, raids, dungeons, and destinations, but they are a little grindy. I chose the crucible for my first bounty just to see what it would be, and it was 30 zones in control, and in all seriousness, that took longer than I thought, and I was going for zones every single time. It would get up to 99, and I would get killed, no teammate help, Bungie spawns an entire team right behind you on an accident, stuff like that happens. So the bounties are a little grindy, but they're not that bad in my opinion. The big issue is earning the synth strand to actually buy the bounties. You need a 150 synth strand to buy a single bounty, which doesn't seem like that much because I assumed at the very beginning that it was just 150 enemies and they each drop one synth strand for you, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I started out at 21 just from playing the season so far, it's been collective, and then I ran a lost sector and a full public event, and I only earned two synth strands per those. So throughout this entire heroic public event right here with the Briggs on Europa, I only earned two of the synth strands from 21 to 23. I didn't even think that it was possible to earn that little, but I guess you have to kill a lot of enemies to earn this synth. I figured I would put that to the test, so I went into a lost sector. I went into the concealed void. Inside of there, in one complete run, I only went up from 25 to 27. So, getting from 0 to 150 for each bounty is going to take four ever that's a thousand five hundred for all ten of your bounties that you're allowed per character in a season and that's just per one character so if you play multiple characters and want to get all ten pieces of armor on all three characters you're gonna have to grind out so many enemy kills so many public events so many raids so many everything just to finish in one season it seems like it's a little much that even going through a lost sector you only get two synth strands. That's 75 lost sectors just for one piece of armor. That seems a little absurd to me, but that's just my opinion. So let me know what you guys think about the system so far. It is super nice that they're giving it to us. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate Bungie for giving us this option to customize our armor even more than they do now. So thank you for that. But it does seem like it's... A little grindy especially for the average player that doesn't have time to grind out 75 lost sectors just for one piece of armor on one character but that's just the issues that I found so far with transmog in my opinion hopefully there's some tweaks to it in the future but we'll see let me know what you guys think let me know what your favorite piece of armor you've picked out so far too thank you guys so much for watching I'll catch you in the next one peace